Devin in Nairobi, Kenya asks this question. Is it possible for a Christian who has demons to live a biblically consistent life until the demons become weak and leave? Well, theoretically, yes, but the practical answer is no. In our International School of Exorcism, one of the important principles we teach is that demons don't go until they are told to go. When you confront a demon, and it manifests, and it responds to you, it will say things like, this is my home, I belong here, referring to the individual they are possessing. The demon may say, she or he wants me or needs me. Or they may bargain. They go to great lengths not to leave. I've had cases of demonic possession where the demon has been in the person since birth or from the time of young child and the demon is still there 10, 20, 30, 40, sometimes 80 plus years later. I've actually had cases like that where the demon has been hiding inside the person more than 70 or 80 years. How is that possible? Well, you see, one of the things that's very important to understand about deliverance, and we explain this at great lengths in our International School of Exorcism, is the tripartite nature of the human condition. We are body, soul, and spirit. The spirit belongs to Christ once you were born again. But the demon can hide in the body, or most usually in the soul, in the thoughts, in the mind, in the emotions of the individual. And they will bide their time. Few demons leave because the person becomes so spiritual. Now, I have had demons say to me, we don't want to stay in here anymore. This person prays too much. We don't like it here. They walk with Christ daily. And yet, even though they say that, they don't leave on their own. So, bottom line is this. If you have demons, you need an exorcism. Someone must cast the demons out. And as we also teach in our International School of Exorcism, you likely can't do that yourself. Now, I have a, a lengthy series in which I teach on the subject of self-deliverance, and it is theoretically possible. However, as a practical matter, in most cases, it's like becoming a Christian. Most people get saved because someone leads them to Christ. That's the gospel plan. And it's the same with deliverance. People get delivered because somebody delivers them. Jesus didn't say, go out and be delivered by yourself. He gave the commission to his disciples and followers you go cast out the demons. So, demons in most cases must be expelled. And if someone watching me believes that you have a demon, do something about it. Don't wait. Just because it seems that, for the most part, things are going well, the demon may be waiting to strike at a more convenient time when perhaps for some reason your faith isn't as strong. Seek healing, seek deliverance now. Get to one of our seminars for a personal face-to-face -face encounter or schedule a Skype encounter if that's not practical. But whatever you do, get the demons out. Find someone who knows what they're doing, train in deliverance like the students of our School of Exorcism, and have the demons cast out in the name of Jesus the International School of Exorcism, an online Bible college of spiritual warfare. The history of exorcism, healing, deliverance, and spiritual warfare. The practical aspects of breaking curses, pulling down spiritual strongholds, and removing the legal rights of Satan. Set yourself, your friends, and family free by enrolling in the International School of Exorcism. In our new book, Set Your Family Free, we teach how to raise children with purity principles. 
how to prepare them for adulthood, and how to break every assignment of Satan over their lives. We give you the principles of spiritual warfare to fight for your family and to be victorious over the powers of darkness. This is the book that will set your family free. How do you know if your problems are the result of bad life choices or demons? My 200-page book, Dealing with Demons, has answers for questions most are afraid to ask. Can Christians be demon-possessed? How can I know what's natural and what's supernatural? Dealing with Demons will teach you how to recognize symptoms that the devil is at work in your life. Be one step closer to living in spiritual victory. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. My book, Jezebel, is your key to overcoming the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. Get your copy today. He took the curses away from me. Go see Papa Larson because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers and a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.